Hey, I'm Nathan Robb and welcome to this tech walkthrough video on crazy amazing designs. If you have any questions as always about the production or about the equipment that we use, leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you. Early on in December of 2020, I was asked by a local pastor friend whose church has been building a brand new gym youth building to help them with their building dedication service on December 20th. They thought, what better way to dedicate a brand new facility than to have our Sunday morning services in the new building? And you know, ultimately loads of logistics, tons of logistics are required to do something like this. So we sat down and we talked over what they were thinking and about the service and what was available and what was necessary to pull this off. We talked about how the first gathering in a new building would ultimately set the tone for future events that would be planned and happen in that place. And the long-term goal for them is to do a weekly Sunday evening service in that building. So let's dive into this production walkthrough video where I'll break down the equipment, the positions, the cameras, the sound, the lighting used in the service. Hi guys, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. Today we're here in the brand new building at First Christian Church in Martins Ferry, Ohio. And this is front of house, so let's take a tour. Justin Malarkey, the epic man himself, is here running sound. Uh, we've got the broadcast video suite here, the ATEM switcher, the PTZ controller, and the uh, multi-view here. Uh, we've got a laptop running the lighting software, and Kelly is here running ProPresenter 7, on a laptop and then down at the end we are here live streaming to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, like all the places, you know, literally go check us out. <laughs> we only stream to YouTube, but I love my own enthusiasm. This was my first live event using the brand new ProPresenter 7 and it went so well. I have been using it a ton recently so that I could create some video content on the features of ProPresenter 7. This is a really good guide that I put together with some of my top reasons why your church should take a look at Pro 7. Joe is here running camera six, one of the, uh, one of the two man cameras today, so that's pretty cool. He's standing on his amazing Pelican case, so. His brother Patrick is running the uh, center man camera number five. These guys own a media company out of Martins Ferry called Shooter Productions. They make commercial content, short films, music videos, and loads of other cool stuff. And they happen to be a part of First Christian Church and our friends. They told me that they don't do a lot of live broadcast stuff, but they both did an incredible job running cameras for the service. I was directing and they always had great shots for me. The slider is over here killing it today. We've got these beautiful slide over the head shots, as you can see in the live stream. and. Just wow, I don't even know what to say about the slider. I have no kids, but I feel like I love this thing like it was my first board son. This is the first time I have ever used this brand new slider. Vineyard Church has one and now I built one for myself, so there's a second one in existence. I love using it any chance I get to add movement to a broadcast. So super excited to have it in the mix in the broadcast. PTZ head on top from Panasonic, it's letting us control it from the front of house location. We weren't sure what to do with lights, so we've got these two uh, lighting beams here with four uh, Chave Pro Quad 18 lights on little tripods. Sort of sketchy, but they work. We ran a power cable to each of these lighting stands and attached two of these to a bar. Something I did here for the first time was using these Domer wireless DMX devices. They were incredible. I attached the transmitter to my NTEC USB DMX dongle, and then I used five receivers around the room to control each fixture in my chain. They worked so well and I'm definitely impressed. Pro tip on this, I used a PowerCon cable to connect one light to the next. And then if you have a PowerCon to Edison adapter, you can use that to power the DMX receiver from the light. This way you can have a single power cable running to the tower with no power strip. QSC gear is powering all of the audio side of things. We've got two tops and a sub on each side uh, with a rack that is powering our uh, digital IO box. QSC speakers are incredible, and as I said, Justin mixed the room, and I'm sure he has some thoughts about the setup and the way it sounded. Yeah, the QSC system is one of my favorite to mix on as far as small systems are concerned. Um, you have a nice flat sounding system that sounds good out of the box, and you have a, a lot of different ways to deploy it. Um, we deployed it in such a way so that we were face, trying to face it as much as we could straight at the crowd and not at the walls. And, and get it just above their heads to point down a little bit. Uh, the band was very good about not overplaying. The drummer used light sticks and everybody else was on in-ears. And even the guitar player was direct. That cut down on our stage volume a ton. 
which was made my job much easier. I didn't have to turn them up very loud. And because of that, I didn't have to over energize the room that helped keep everything intelligible. Then with the speakers system sounding as good as it did with the subs, we were able to give enough energy to the, to the, to the sound to make it exciting and make it sound like nice and full, but not overdo it. Uh, that system, you know, I'll, uh, tell people 10 times out of 10, it's a great system for those smaller types of rooms uh, where you're having a few hundred or less people. And, uh, I, you know, it's, it's a great sounding system. And we had a lot of fun that day and I thought it sounded fantastic. You saw the X32 at front of house. The rack on stage connected with the front of house console over an ethernet cable. The stage inputs all connected to this rack and we did have an additional snake running to the drummer area that we used to connect all the drum mics. Then the piano and guitar were also plugged in there because we had open inputs from the stage. Racks are great because if they are designed properly, they can house loads of gear and make for quick setup. This one has two wireless handheld mics, as well as a power over ethernet switch we wired P16 in your monitors into. Uh, the projector here is actually from the main church building and that is sending a video feed up onto the wall for the stage display for the band members to see what they're doing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, let's look at some really cool stuff on the stage, which is our stage design. So we've got these bars of light on the floor on each side and on the back wall here is an incredible project. Uh, 3D printed uh, triangles turned into with lights in them and we've got covers on them to cover it all up and make it look nice but they're snowflakes. We've got a little Arduino and they're powering it. And also on the stage we've got some, uh, some Christmas lights and different things like that. The drums I... I put lights all over the drum kit and I told the drummer Merry Christmas as I wrapped him like a Christmas tree. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave a comment and I will definitely uh, answer them. Merry Christmas! One's live. because Danielle's not standing there. Six is live.